Scorpio, this is your reading. It's for a week and this is Scorpio Sun Moon Rising or anywhere where you have Scorpio in your chart or you're just looking to understand more of this whole death, destruction, transformation dynamic that Scorpio represents in all of our charts. We do have Venus in the sky that's just moved into the sign of Scorpio. So that is affecting us all on a heart level. Let's go ahead and clear the energy. Asking to clear the energy of the cards from previous readings and calling on higher power spirit to guide this reading and bring the information that Scorpio most needs to hear. Remember, this is a general reading, so everything may not be for you, but something will be for you if you are here. So tune yourself, sit back, listen, open, be ready to do some work. I don't just give you self-indulgent card readings. I also give you assignments. <laughs> That's part of my deal as the Life Force Oracle to guide you in empowerment and embodiment of your highest authentic self. And yes, I do use cards to help read the energy, but I don't stop there. So that is what makes these readings different than any other readings on YouTube. So thank you for being here. This week, I'm using a very special deck solely, just so you guys get a taste of that. It is the Key Vesta. I have lots of cards here. I'm going to kind of jump around each week and use different cards so you can fill them more fully. The Key Vesta was brought to this planet by my teacher, Almeen. She's like an interdimensional ambassador for Earth or something. She's quite out there and she doesn't actually teach anymore, but she has loads of books, material, videos, and so, so forth. And one of the things she channeled through was the Lemurian Key Vesta, which is an alchemical sequence of cards and concepts for manifestation. So there's four decks we're going to be using today. They each have 36 cards. So 36 times four is 144. One deck will choose physical advice, mental, emotional, spiritual for you, Scorpio. We're going to keep it really simple at that this week and see if we can really digest these concepts. So we're going to start with the physical realm. What does Scorpio need most as advice for this physical realm this week. We get card number one of the Ari Vesta. It is called I am home. I am home. So this may have to do with actually a physical home. Some of you may, may be moving or finding your home or learning to feel at home wherever you are, or at least that's the challenge offered to you by this card. Uh, the Lemurian that's on the card says Rachba Tururak Anish. That's the translation of I am home. And the deeper concept to contemplate is when the directions, I always saw these was, you know, front, back, behind, up, down. When the directions come home to the heart, they turn inward. And linearity is no more. Then we become the door of everything. So linearity, linearity would also be like past future. Like I'm worried about what happened. I'm worried about what's going to happen. I have anxiety about this. I'm, you know, this happened to me. So I have trauma. When those directions of linearity, linear, linear expression come home to the heart and we are present in the here and now, I can truly say from the heart, I am home in myself. Then you get your power back. And Scorpio, I know that's a big deal for you. So this card is calling you to become present and at home in yourself this week. Let's look at the mental sphere for Scorpio. What is, it, what is being asked of the mind of our Scorpios mentally? How can Scorpios process this I am home kind of direction? And also this, because Scorpio is about transformation, it's like becoming at home in the transformation, finding home in that deep change. Um, something that Pluto and Aquarius will definitely give us a chance to look at since Pluto rules Scorpio. Okay, card seven of the Hanugua Vesta, Erpablusat Araspi, direction from the infinite. Here's the interesting picture wheel. Direction from the infinite. Okay, so now we're in the mental sphere. So this is also maybe telling you inspiration is trying to come in. The divine is trying to guide you, speaking things into your mind. 
Um, so to listen for that, to open yourself to direction from the infinite. Um, here's the concept that goes with this. And some of you might have an irk with this, but then I'll go into it a little bit. The deeper concept is our little selves have no freedom of choice. All of life is directed by the one life. The only way to be free is to become the one life. So the one life uh, you'd like to think is another term that she uses here for God, for source, for love, right? I like to use love. It feels very universal. So it's like love is guiding this whole thing. Love is the force that moves the world, right? That's moving everyone through their experiences. And sometimes love takes us down a deep, dark path somewhere that's difficult or where we feel mad at home all the while leading us back to love right so if we think that we have another goal or another plan besides love this is saying love actually has the plan like the only way you can truly be free is to surrender to the love right surrender to love so that's when you recognize that you are being directed by a greater power Let's look at the emotional component for our Scorpios this week. What is the emotional component? What does Scorpio have to look for in the emotions. Remember, Mars is in Cancer right now. Whew, that's a toughie. Could be a very emotional time. Scorpio can be, you know, deep emotions too. So this is telling you your actions impact the many. Bhava Ruvesta card 15. This also came up for Taurus. So I also recommend you watching your opposite sign for Scorpio. It's, it's Taurus. Just because it's like two sides of a coin. You understand what's going on both sides. But Taurus did get this one. Life spins on a single point. Each of us is such a pivot point. Impacting the whole with every movement in every moment. Your actions impact the many. So this is emotionally, okay? So your emotional actions impact more than just you, especially this week. And this is a pivotal time being the beginning of the equinox and a new season. We're in between eclipses, very like transformative energies, end of Pluto and Capricorn, getting ready to go into a huge 16-year cycle of Pluto and Aquarius coming up soon. We just have a couple more months till November of Pluto back in Capricorn for its third and last little bout there. But there's a lot of transformation up for a lot of people. So Scorpio, you're kind of like king queen of transformation. Remember your actions, your emotions, how you put yourself out in the world is impacting others, especially your emotional energy. So with this Mars and Cancer, we can be a little bit emotionally volatile or, you know, a little bit more baby-like or childlike, infantile. That um, Cancerian energy can remind us of childhood and children. Um, but if we can understand that how we're showing up emotionally, Scorpios, this week is really going to impact people, then we can maybe take a check on that, check our emotions, receive that direction from the infinite, right? align with love and feel at home in the self in order to do so. Okay, let's pick the final card, your spiritual advice for this week. Spiritual advice for Scorpios. Hanavasta card 35, release others to their journey. So some of you are holding on to somebody. So spiritually, that lesson's over, that karmic journey's over. Scorpios, all about karmas. Nanuch Ubasatvi Uplet Harasat, release others to their journey. So if you're holding on to someone from the past, it's time to let go. That's the message of this card. And be at home with where you are. Start receiving directions from love and recognize your actions are causing a ripple, a wave, right? So some of you are behaving badly trying to keep someone home or trying to kick someone out of the home or whatever's going on here, releasing others to their journey, let other people be who they are supposed to be. And the deeper concept here is from loyalty, blindness is born. 
See others in your environment anew each day that you not keep them captive by indulging their folly. This is a pretty important concept because it's really easy to hold people into the way that we've always known them, right? And like not allow them to grow because we're thinking of them the way that, that we've always known them. But um, this is a blind way of going forward because everyone has an opportunity to continually grow. So this is um, reminding you to see everyone new each day so that you do not captive, keep your friends and associates and family members captive in old ways, right? Allow the transformation. And this will cause a ripple effect. This action of allowing the people in your life to be released from those old ways you perceived them, try not seeing them that way anymore. Try coming from the present moment new. I'm home in myself, releasing linearity and coming to home to the heart. That way, anything is possible. You're the door to everything. Anything's possible when you do that. Beautiful things can happen for you, Scorpio, this week. This is a beautiful reading, very coherent, very succinct. Physically, feel at home, take care of your home, pay attention to your home, both your physical home, externally, as well as this home, the home of your body. And try to remove yourself from this past and future thinking. Maybe try the exercise of imagining a magnet in here and magnetizing all parts of yourself from past to future back to the now. And saying, I'm home in myself. I'm at home in myself. Mentally, recognize like love is leading the way. There's one force. And, you know, like when we align with that, then we are directed then we are guided. Then we get the inspiration, right? And emotionally, like take care of those emotions, Scorpio. This week can be very deep, <laughs> sometimes manipulative. But remember, what you do this week is impacting greater than this now. It's rippling out. Uh, it is a pivot point with this equinox and in the midst of these eclipses. So take care. Um, take check of your emotions, especially, and release those to your journey spiritually. This is a great time for you to release karmic relationships, karmic um, you know, friendships, jobs, anything that feels like it's just been holding you back or they're, they're trying to shift and you aren't allowing them to, now is the time to let that go. All right, Scorpio, that's all I have for you. Have a beautiful week. Blessings to you guys.